tie these up. And put them horizontal. The bottom one goes around the back. And through. And the top one goes behind. And through this one. And you can see the knots kind of lean opposite. This is so that you can make adjustments. They pull apart and together. And um, when you cut the ends off, you want to leave a little bit of an end, you know, quarter inch, so that if you need to make an adjustment, you can pull it apart, untie a knot, and retie it. So we're going to try this out uh, on this full size cello. I'm going to leave the ends long right now because I got to adjust the length. And we're going to go for an after string length of 130 millimeters because it will tighten, which will shorten the after string length. We want to end up at 120. So let's see if I can get it set at 130. So it looks like that's 130 where the string touches and then on the bridge it looks like we're in the right place. I just sort of got lucky here. But if it was two, if it was 120 I would have to shorten um, the gut that we just tied the cord and that would pull it back this way. If we lengthen it, it makes it shorter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this knot up. So when we finish it, I'm gonna go back over to where we were. And I need to cut it with um, wire cutters. So in case this thing tightens up more than I expect and it gets too short, I have to leave a little bit here so that I can undo the knots and tighten it up a little more if it happens. And this stuff is tough, so I just sort of nip at it. Even that little hair is tough. Kevlar. So I'm just putting the handle on the table and I'm leaning on it because my hands aren't going to get tired doing that. So you can put a little dab of super glue on the ends of this. You don't want to glue the knot because you may need to adjust it in the future.